Last night, I had a very uncomfortable situation. Where? At the club? Yeah. What happened? I... I did that. He's laughing right now. I, I already, I, it's got to be. Dude, I did stand up. I did stand, whatever. I did stand up stand on the spot. Up, yeah. With yeah. Jeremiah. I'm leaving. I'm about to walk out scot free. We had a great time. Go to another spot. Everything is going to be great. Laugh Factory. And uh, Emily at the store goes, Hey, do you want to do a spot in the main room? Joey's on it. Burr's on it. Greg Fitzsimmons on it. I was like, Hell yeah. Of course. And we're walking through the main room. And she goes, yeah, you know, it's um, it's like a, it's a benefit for people on the spectrum. And I'm like, hold on, is is like <laughs> retarded people here? Like, what's going? Because I just don't. I was like, I'll just pass. I don't know exactly how to do it, you know. Yeah. yeah. And uh, they then she goes, no, 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 no. It's like people in a halfway house. To me, halfway house is you were, you know, had some drug stuff, drug or you maybe addict. you maybe were in jail, locked up, and they're trying to bring trying you back to into regular That's, society. I usually say drug. My, I go to drug addict. Or drug. Yeah. Every it doesn't time. matter, yeah. right? Halfway half. Yeah. Drug so I go halfway house. Okay, I'm walking in the back. There's some guys with like beards and like face tattoos. And I'm like, oh, these some rough guys are trying to get their life back together. And I'm excited because I'm like, these guys aren't going to be offended as shit. I can fucking go in. Fuck yeah. I get brought up on stage. I do a couple jokes. Things are going really well. And then I go into this bit, this retard bit, right? <laughs> <laughs> And you see how like quiet it is now? Yeah. <laughs> like if you could for multiply me, how it. quiet it is now by like a thousand, that's what that full room felt like. Really? It got real quiet. And I'm like, this is weird. But you were crushing before that. Because I saw you early it, on. It was good. Wrecking. I'm not I'm not the guy who like says, Oh, I killed every say like I'm is the most critical of myself. Guy? It was going it was it hard. It was going well. Yeah. It was going hard. Took a little turn. <laughs> <laughs> Took a little turn. And then I would say I got it back up to about like fifty percent. Right, but that's a hard hole to dig out of. It, we were really some would dug say deep. the hardest. We were we were, <laughs> dug, we were dug very deep. Okay, <laughs> we were dug very deep. Help I, us out. So I walk off stage, and Diaz goes. Uh, he goes. He goes. He goes. Hey, uh, why why would you close with the retard joke? It's a benefit for retards. <laughs> <laughs> I go what? <laughs> he goes. He goes. Yeah, it's for fucking retards. <laughs> it's okay, kid. Don't worry about it. <laughs> right? How about, how about the sound guy goes, dude, <laughs> balls, man, to do that retard joke in front of the For the vulgar retards. He goes, but I thought it went pretty well. About 50% dug <laughs> yeah. it. About 50% dug it. <laughs> Bro, I go back and it fits him. as like, like falling just apart. Blank. Don't, no, it was because people were just staring at you. Some people were there just to see Burr. Yeah, well, right, because yeah, it's yeah, a benefit. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, don't yeah, know yeah. what the fuck it is. They just see Bill Burr. So I think all those people are like, "Oh, this is awesome." And then all these people that are taking care of a retard at home are like, "What the fuck is going on?" Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm supporting, offended. dude. The first comic that went on, I think, was like mentally challenged. But I didn't know. I thought he was just a comic because you know comics are all fucking job went weirdo. on first. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Wait, who was it? You don't know who it was? I don't know. Do I have a registry. Of <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know anything. Bro, well, wait a minute. But you know, how comics can be awkward a little bit. Yes, you know yes, I mean? yes, yes, yes. So I just thought he was awkward. Yeah, I, I just thought he was awkward, and um, <laughs> I can't even talk about our interaction. But uh, I felt so fucking bad. Yeah, I felt so fucking. You went to bad. the Laugh Factory after that. I went to the Laugh Factory that, so and honestly, the audience was more retarded at the Laugh Factory. <laughs> 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 Bro, they were so more retarded. Dude, I couldn't believe you it, You did two dude. of those shows in one night. Dude, two of them. Yeah, and one you expected, them. though. One you knew was coming. The other I walked in, I was like, okay, uh, it's going to be good. It's going to be some close eyes here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw the arm canes out front. I know what I'm getting into. <laughs> Dude, it's not even retarded. Know, that's <laughs> but that's how we feel. That's retarded. how we think. I know. Dude, <laughs> when did retarded get so specific? I don't know. Remember, retarded was just everything. It was a thing. It was all the things. Yeah, so yeah. You pre spray your ankle. Yeah, he's a little retarded this week. <laughs> <laughs> now, now it's just taking on a different kind of power, right? It gets, I got owned. Like, it in got school, taken I away. Like, oh, dude, your shoes are retarded. Yeah, and it was just like a. And if they were, they were. It was like, if, yeah. and you knew when you went home, you're like, Oof. in front of everyone, you were like, <laughs> shut the fuck up. No, they're not. Yeah. And then you get home and you're like, fuck these, fuck, fuck. these fucking retarded. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mom, mom, <laughs> what the fuck are you buying me? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> What's a kid? <laughs> What's a kid? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, bro, honestly, getting picked on for your clothes when you were young riddled you worse than anything else in the world. It, no matter what they can make fun of you about, if you got shitted on in front of your friends by something you wore, Nothing it, ru it ruined you. You gotta keep it on the whole day. I yeah, you, <laughs> you know, if they got you first period, bro. you're like, fuck! <laughs> Before school, you're like, what the fuck? We're just kicking it out here. Turn it inside yeah. out. Dude, you remember those, ja when I was a kid, those jackets, remember the starter jackets? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wore that and I didn't, my brother's telling me, I had an older brother, he's telling me how cool they were. It was a Dallas yeah. Cowboys starter jacket 
I got this, I got this school. And everyone's around me like, dang, because it was like a low income like school. So yeah, white boy with a starter jacket. Like, dang, damn, and bro. They're like, dang, that's a starter jacket. And I went. It, it is my first one. It is my first one, <laughs> dude. I got roasted for the entire day. day. For it. Yeah, like you up. never wear again. Never no, you can't. No. Yeah, it just it was like yeah, because I didn't know what starter was. Wait, I can was you just, not wear starter? You can, but I just didn't. I when oh, they this said motherfucker, I thought they were saying starter. Your first ja like like your your start jacket, like your first jacket. Oh my! God. And I went, yeah, it's my first one. <laughs> And I heard some guy Were you go, at like an ESL school or something Remember like that? that crowd you were performing for? Remember what I was talking about? <laughs> that, was, that was a benefit for job. <laughs> <laughs> it's a starter. <laughs> anyway, it's my first one. Dude, it ruined the coat. Ruined the coat. That's it right there. That was Shab rocking that. The <laughs> that hardcore me, bro. starter jacket, baby. I did have that Charlotte Hornets one. Bro, I knew a dude in high, this was really smart. I knew, at junior high is actually when yeah. he used to do it. He in, in his backpack would bring a change of clothes just in case he got shitted on on stuff that he wore. I'm not kidding. He'd bring different shirts or different like different uh, shirts or different like uh, smart pullovers. Yeah, because he would. Because he was always today. so worried. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing, but he was so worried about people shitting on him. Yeah. That he would bring a change of clothes, and his mom. I don't know if you had friends like this. His mom. Uh, didn't let, let him wear certain. She was like, "You're not wearing that out of the house." You know colors? what I mean? Like, nah. She just didn't. She just restricted him from getting certain kinds of clothes. So he would go out buy him, you know, secretly stuff him in his backpack Rebel. and then change at clothes, change yeah. at school. So his mom never knew. He didn't want. She didn't let him wear certain stuff. Like if it was like a Tupac shirt, she's like, yeah. nah, "Where did you get that from?" She would like lose it if she saw him some shit like was, that. It was it was like black guys or, or was it? No, just she didn't. Just she's rap. like, I hit rap. You know, rap culture. It was like yeah. of that era when we were kids. It was like our parents were so against. There were so many parents against that, like that could that rise because it was it was so dominant. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. What hip hop did in the night, it changed culture forever. I'll tell you yeah. This right now. Yeah. 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 Watch your tone. Oh, okay. What's gonna happen? What are you gonna do? Use some of that <laughs> boxing you've been doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you fucking disrespect. <laughs> hey. Hey.